Hey family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Mpo Candice. Today's video, we're going to be looking at yet another opportunity to start making money online. Now, without wasting any more time, if you're new to the channel or happen to be in this video for the first time, welcome and thank you for watching. I share content on how to make money online. And if this is the type of content you are looking for, then you are in the right place. Please do consider joining the family by hitting the subscribe button, not forgetting the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube can notify you. With that being said, let's just dive into today's video. Now, before diving into today's video, I want to rant. Guys, we're on the road to a thousand subscribers. We have been on the road to a thousand subscribers for a couple of months now. And I would love to have you guys as part of my community. And also, I have been looking at my analytics and I noticed that 87% of the people that watch my content have not subscribed. It really does not cost you anything to hit the subscribe button. So kindly do the right thing. Now, without any further ado, let's just dive right into today's video. With the website that we're going to be looking at, it says become an online English tutor. As you can see, it says you can earn up to $2,000. So some of the interesting things I love about this website is that they say no BA degree needed, TOEFL certificate not needed, spoken English C1. It means that you don't necessarily need to be a native English speaker, but you can be fluent or you can be advanced in English. And then their class fee is $3.00 and 50 cent per class one class is 25 minutes long and on weekends they pay you four dollars and 50 cents for a 25 minutes long class here they say minimum number of classes per month is 80 given that you work 40 hours per month they also have bonuses right there as we scroll down this is where you can see more about the company you can simply come and watch this video right here and these are some of the reasons you might want to work for this company or you might want to consider this company first of all is that you're going to have regular students here they say teaching is easy when you have built a relationship with your students so you're going to have the very same student every lesson right the second reason is that they provide you with lesson material here they say you don't need to create your own lesson plan they provide you with easy to follow lesson material now the tricky part is that you need to have or you need to set a fixed schedule a fixed schedule is that it a fixed schedule means that if you say you're going to work monday to friday from nine to five, you need to be working Monday to Friday, nine to five. This is not a flexible schedule. This is a fixed schedule. So you need to, to think very well when it comes to um, setting your schedule right there. Also consider that. And then here it says promotion, possibility of promotion and improvement. Your effort will be rewarded. Please take that also into consideration. They also have full support of trainers and mentors. Even after the completion of your training, you are going to have someone that guides you, someone that shows you every step of the way, right? And then the last one would be that you can end up to $2,000 on the website here it says minimum salary per 120 classes can be from 420 given that you work 60 hours per month right and then as we scroll down this is where they explain the um, quantity of learners on their website here they say they've got around 1989 teachers they've got over 50,000 learners and the average age of a teacher on their website is 30 years right so this is where you can start with the application process you simply come here to where it says apply now click there you're going to be you're going to be directed to a page like this one here it says the tutor recruitment tutor application form this is where you're going to fill in your details so i'm just going to take you through what is needed of you or i'm going to fill this out with you guys so there's going to be a point where i do um snippets where i speed up the process so it does not take quite a bit of time right so the first one you need to enter your name so i'm just going to enter my name and my middle name and also my surname okay now 
right? I'm going to enter that. You also need to choose your gender, female, your date of birth. So I'm going to choose my date of birth right here. And then nationality, I'm going to say South African. And then you're going to choose the country and also the city that you are in. And then here it says time zone. As you click on the time zone, they require you to put in your time zone in UTC. So we're going to come to Google and search how to put our time in UCT. I mean UTC. So here it says South African Standard Time in GMT plus 2. South African Standard Time is GMT plus 2, but we can also get it in UTC, which is UTC plus 2. So we're going to go back to um, Lengo Total and then put in the time zone right there. And then I'm going to put in my mobile number right here and also the country code, which is plus 27. As we scroll down, you need to put in your email address. So I'm going to auto fill this one. And then I need to put in my Skype account, right? If you don't have a Skype account, it's quite easy to create a Skype account. This is the account that they need. This is the Skype ID that they need. So I'm just going to copy this one and then fill it in here. Right, and then I need to select highest level of education. I'm going to go with associate because I've got a diploma, I don't have a degree, and I studied at Central Johannesburg College. Major, this is your major subject. So I'm just going to say electrical engineering. That's what I was studying. And then I'm going to upload my CV, which I specifically made for teaching English online. So your CV must, put, must have the experience that you have with teaching English online. And also, if you've got any TEFL certificate, you must also include that in your CV, right? So I'm just going to put in my CV or upload my CV. Oh, man. As we scroll down here, it says other. This is more details that they need of you. So they need you to fill in whether you've got a TEFL certificate. So I do have a TEFL certificate. Here it says TEFL, TESOL, and SALTA. Right? And here they're asking times of application. This is my first time applying on their side. And here it says teaching experience. I've got one year in teaching experience. I would really advise you to say one year in teaching experience. If you've got more, then you can say more. But I wouldn't advise you to say zero experience in um, teaching. And then here it says, do you have a regular job? I would go with no, because if I say yes, then I won't be able to work at the fixed amount of hours that I will be able to, that I will be setting on the website. And then age of students taught, I would say four, seven, 18 and over 25. Referrer, I, I was not referred by anyone to this website. So no. And then got information from, I got this website from LinkedIn and then I click submit. When I click submit, this is what I get prompted to. As you can see here, it says Lingo Total application successfully submitted. You have successfully submitted your application. We will process information shortly. Thank you. Now, the thing I don't like about um, the end of the, sub the application is that they don't give you, they don't send you like an email 
to tell you that they did re indeed receive your application and they also don't tell you they also don't tell you after how long you will expect to hear from them so those are some of the things that i don't like about the website or the application